Southern Charm finale night with Landon Clements and Thomas Ravenel. We catch part one of the Southern Charm reunion uh, two weeks from tonight. Jonathan Williams is the head bartender at Southern Hospitality in New York City. I like. I love that bottle of uh, smoky whiskey you got yeah, over there. Yes. Uh, let's go back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hey, Andy, it's Chelsea from Kentucky. Hey, Chelsea from Kentucky. What's your, hey, you know what? Kentucky whiskey makes me frisky. <laughs> <laughs> what's your question? Uh, my question is Jackson, <laughs> Jackson, the same thing. <laughs> my question is Jackson. Okay. Uh, last season, you told Shep you could possibly love him at some point, um, but then this season, he was insinuating that you and Austin had a thing while Austin was with Chelsea, so I was just wondering how you felt about all of that. I mean, I don't know. I mean... Did you have a thing with Austin while he no, was with Chelsea? not at all, but it makes me wonder if maybe Shep was a little jealous. Oh. He wasn't. <laughs> Back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hey, caller, are you there? And I'm from Vail, which I believe Landon just called a truck stop off the highway, if I'm correct. You are correct. What would you like to say to Landon as a resident of Vail, Colorado, which she called a truck stop? Uh, that truck stop sells for $2,500 a square foot, so I don't think it's really a truck stop. Well, it's not about money. It's about, you know, I mean, Vail was built as a ski mountain by real estate developers, and Aspen was a town before there was a ski mountain, so that it's more of a historical fact, I suppose? Not built by real estate developers. It is now being built by real estate developers. But You're right. They didn't build the mountain. Ski enthusiasts. <laughs> But I have a question for Thomas Ravenel. Okay. <laughs> wow. And by the way, this is Southern Charm is my favorite show. Thank on you. TV right now. Thank you. Um, I'm so psyched we got a caller from Vail. Yeah, I, just, me too. I yeah. have to tell you, I am thrilled about it. Anyway, it's hilarious. Uh, what's your question Everybody for T Rav? Everybody from Aspen called Vail a truck stop. I know, and that's really. where the rivalry. See, Austin used to live in Vail, and I used to live in Aspen, so it's like my team's better uh, than your team. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh okay, I didn't realize. The third yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. There's a lot Thomas, of points of reference to all of this. <laughs> Thomas, the chemistry between you and Catherine, I'm like, whoa, I think you guys are going to get married. Do you think you will ever marry Catherine? I don't think so. I just think that, you know, again, I've said this innumerable times, the uh, age difference is so great that, you know, it's like my preacher told me, you know, and he's very... <laughs> you have a preacher, t Ralph? <laughs> yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> and he, he, on the he show. was a sex therapist because he said, look, things are going great now, but, you know, in 15 years, you know, how much Viagra am I ha gonna have to buy? It's gonna get expensive. Right. You know? Right. <laughs> uh, um. That's the only reason. <laughs> Holly J, uh, what's the deal with some of you all, especially Cameron pronouncing Chelsea's name Chelsea with a T? Anyone notice that? Yes, but I don't really know why. <laughs> you don't know why. Um, how is your love life these days, Mr. Ravenel? It's very good. No complaints. <laughs> um, what is the oldest and youngest you would date, Thomas? Eliza wants to know. Uh, Eliza Limehouse. <laughs> <laughs> is she the youngest? <laughs> yeah. I think she's 19. Date? You mean out in public? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just see, that was a joke. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think, well, Patricia set me up with a woman who's 35, and she said, I'm going to set you up with this woman. She's 35, and she quickly followed up with, is that too old? And I said, of course not. You right. Know? But I think, um, you know, 30 and up is a good you know, age bracket, you know, up to maybe 38. Up to 38. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, I'm almost too old. <laughs> All, right. All right. I want to thank uh, T Rav, Landon, and Jonathan from Southern Hospitality New York. For more, thank you for having me on Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.